Welcome to this video where we are going to set it up same time 11 community server on Windows 2016. On this video we're going to install and configure MongoDB. Here's the software required for the configuration. Windows 2016 where Domino and same time will run. MongoDB 3.65 package MongoDB Compass add-on package You will need also the ACL Same Time 11 installation and administration guide Let's begin You can open another file explorer window to see the progress of the installation Highlight MongoDB Win32. Please double click on the file. Click Run. Click Next. Please read the software license agreement. If you agree with it, click Accept the terms of the license agreement. Click Next. Select Option Complete. Please uncheck Install MongoDB Compact. Click Next. Click Install. Click Finish. Highlight MongoDB Compass. Please double click on the file. Click Run. Click Help and About MongoDB Compass to confirm the version that has been installed. Click OK. Click Connect. Click Exit. Open a file explorer. Create a data folder into the C drive. Create the DB folder into the data folder. Create the logs directory into the MongoDB folder. To start the MongoDB server, open a command prompt and navigate to the MongoDB install directory BIN folder. Type 
mongod.exe. Hit enter. To start the MongoDB console, open a command prompt and navigate to the MongoDB install directory BIN folder. Type mongo.exe. Hit enter. Highlight MongoDB console. Type use space admin. Hit enter. Run the system user remove on the system version fine as documented. As you can see on this installation, the system version fine is not showing any schema. You can use the system version insert command to insert the correct out schema value. Or you can follow the next command and see if the schema get updated. Let's try the system version insert command to add the out to schema. Before to close the MongoDB console, it is recommended that you execute the system version find command. This command will help you to confirm that you're using the correct version and a schema as documented. Exit the MongoDB console. Restart the MongoDB server. From the keyboard, select Ctrl C. Type mongod.exe. Hit enter. I like the MongoDB Compass icon. Please double click on the file. Click Connect. Create a database called Chat Logging. Create an initial collection called Sessions. Click Create Database. Highlight Chat Login. Create an additional collection called Events. Click Create Collection. In this installation, there's no need to create a new connection 
since we leave everything as a default. Open the MongoDB console. Type use space admin. Use the admin credential to create the same time user in the MongoDB. Don't change the username or the password to prevent problems running the application. During this process, I recommend to use a TXT application for a better copy-paste of the commands needed. Hit enter. You should see the message successfully added user. Exit the MongoDB console. Highlight the MongoDB server. From the keyboard, select Ctrl-C to shut down the Mongo server. Create the mongod.cfg file. As the documentation said, you can copy-paste the instruction from the document. However, the format of the instruction is critical and must remain the same. Once the file is ready, go ahead and save it in the program files MongoDB Server 3.6 folder. Create the MongoDB service. During this process, I recommend to use a TXT application for a better copy-paste of the commands needed. Open a command prompt and paste the command to create the MongoDB service. Check for the format of the SC command in order to prevent problems during the creation of the MongoDB service. If this is not the first time they run in this command and now you're getting the message MongoDB service already exists, there's online documentation on how to delete the Windows service or contact your Windows provider. If you are having problems starting the MongoDB services, then check for The MongoDB CFG file is not in the correct format. Check and confirm that the file have correct name, extension and format. The MongoDB service created containing incorrect information. You can check the properties of the service and check for possible problems, then recreate if needed. Open the MongoDB console. Using the MongoDB console, use the initiate command to initiate the replica set. To view the replica set configuration, use the rs.conf command. To check the status of the replica set, use the rs.status command.
This concludes the video on how to install and configure MongoDB for same time 11 in Windows 2016 Server. Please subscribe.